In this video, we're going to take a look at the EIGRP stub feature. Uh, specifically, we use the EIGRP stub feature for two different things. One is to limit the routes that are being advertised by the stub. So for example, um, in this case, R1, we could go to R1 and say to only advertise connected routes or only advertise summary routes. Um, so a pretty simple use of the feature. The other reason why we use it is to limit the query domain of EIGRP. And what this means is that when an EIGRP um, router loses a route, so for this example, you could already see the route from R6 to R5 I've marked off as being down. When R5 loses this route and it doesn't have a feasible successor to get there, it will generate a query message and send it out to its neighbors. Once R4 receives the query, it'll send it to its neighbors. R2 will do the same thing. and so on and so forth. So for example, if let's say off of R1, we had another, you know, 10,000 routers. This is another 10,000 routers that need to generate queries. Now what the query actually does is it's basically asking your neighbor, hey, do you have this route? And the router will reply if it does, and if it doesn't, it'll, it'll forward the uh, query on. Now this can be a problem in a huge network um, because R5, when it first, when the route first goes down, it marks it as active. And if the network is large enough and it doesn't hear a query back, I mean a reply back in time, that route can stay stuck and active and we can have a convergence failure issue on our hands. Uh, the other possibility is that as you can see, the queries can flood and given enough flooding, it could even cause an issue that breaks the network. So one of our design goals in EIGRP is to limit the query domain. Now, the way we do this is we can do it a few different ways. One of the ways is using summarization. So let's say, for example, that um, R2 is sending a summary route to R5. When R5 loses this link, yes, it'll still send a summary here but it will not send a summary to R2 because R2 is sending a summary, um, sorry, R5 will not send a query to R2 because R2 is sending a summary to R5. The other thing we can do is stub, um, EIGRP stub routing. So for, for our topology, we're gonna set R1 as the stub router because if you look at it logically, there's nothing behind R1 R1 is kind of, you know, by, by itself. So there's no need for R2 to query R1 if it loses the route between R5 and R6. So what we'll do is I'm at first going to show you on uh, R2 what the queries look like. And then I'm going to go ahead and shut down this route. And then we'll see what the, uh, what the effect we have after turning on stub routing. Let's go ahead to R2. And first, let's just take a look and see that we have the, the route for 10, 0, 56, 0. And we do have it. So let's clear my logging buffer just in case anything is in there. And let's debug EIGRP packets, specifically the query and reply packets. Now let's go to R5. Six. And now I already have shut down this interface on um, router six, so we don't need to go there. We're just going to shut it down on R5. We're going to go back to R2 and let's show logging. All right, so we can see we have some queries that were sent and generated. And let's. Um, Just look at the queries and replies to R1. So we can see we enqueued a query, 
we sent the query, and then we received the query. So as far as network resources go, obviously this is a small network, but there is no need for that query to be sent. So let's go ahead to R1 and let's uh, actually, you know, first thing let's do is let's go back to R5 and let's turn that link back on. Just so we can come back later and do that same experiment, but with sub routing. So conf the router EIGRP. We're using the address family IPv4 unicast autonomous system 100. And to configure stub routing, um, if you use the question mark, you won't see it here. But we do see that we have EIGRP address family specific commands. And that's where you want to configure stub routing. Let's take a look at what features we have. We could do connected, we could do a leak map, receive only, redistributed, etc. These are, are the, the only routes that we want R2 to hear. And let's take a look at the show IP route EIGRP. Um, we can see that from R1, we're learning the 1.1.1.1 network. Um, so why don't we go ahead and EIGRP stub, let's say we want to do connected routes only, and that's going to allow us to still advertise that 1.1.1.1 loopback interface. EIGRP stub connected. Okay, so now on R2, let's do a show IP EIGRP neighbor, and we're going to do detail we're going to do it for gig 112 and as you can see here's r1 and what's interesting to us is stub peer advertising connected routes so that's exactly what we configured with the eigrp stub connected commands so r2 knows that it's a stub router and it's only advertising connected routes and then we can see here it's suppressing queries so now let's do that same exact thing where we, um, let's do all and clear my logging. All right. And then let's debug EIGRP packets for query and reply. Go back to R5. Shut. Let's take a look at logging. Okay, we can see that we are generating some queries. And again, let's take a look at show logging include gig 112. Oh, got to be capital G. So we could see it, the router did queue the query, but it never sent it. Um, where it did send it down 234 to router three and router four, um, and even said to query back to our router five. So we can see the whole query flooding thing where our five sent a query to two, but then our five also sent one to four, which sent one to two, which caused our two to send one to our five. Um, but we can see that we never actually send or, re or receive a reply from our one. So that's the EIGRP stub routing feature. Um, it's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, these commands I'm not going to go over, but it seems pretty, you know, self-explanatory. If you want to advertise the connected routes, uh, if you want to advertise summary routes, static routes, etc. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thanks for watching.